Hello, welcome back to my channel. Season 7 has arrived in Sea of Thieves with the new Captaincy update. This video is going to be showing the Pirate Emporium new items as well as talking about some of the new Captaincy stuff. I will also be showing the contents of the new Plunder Pass. So, in the Pirate Emporium we have the new Wrecker Wrangler set. We have the weapon set and the matching ship set. I will be doing a separate video showing the weapon set and the ship set. These are the premium ship crests which you can purchase once you own a captain's ship. You can purchase these straight away. And then there are others in game which you have to purchase with gold and I think you have to reach certain milestones to unlock them. There is also a ship renaming deed which you can use to obviously rename your ship should you want to. The free emote this month is Promising Portrait. There's also a Wrecker Wrangler costume as well as matching fishing rod. And we have the portable portrait emote bundle. Now, when you set sail for adventure, you will see this screen which lets you choose your original three ships. Plus, if you go to my ships, this is where you can purchase your captain ship. Once you have chosen your selected ship, you are prompted to name it. Once you have named it, you will get this next screen, which will have a few options. The top one will be Sail, your respective ship. There's Restore, Rename and Dismantle. Dismantling the ship will remove any milestones it's earned and you will have to start fresh. Upon loading into your captain's ship, you will be greeted by the pirate legend for ah, the first time. Captain! I see you're ready for your next grand adventure. But before you set sail, there is something we should attend to. I'll meet you aboard your ship. She's a fine vessel. But I'd say she could stand a few improvements. Starting with her name. Allow me. There. A name worthy of a pilot legend's pride and joy. That is so cool. More to do. A captain needs living quarters to call their own. A place to dwell upon yesterday and to prepare for tomorrow. Let me show you what I mean. The Pirate Lord will prompt you to check out your new captain's logbook, which you will find on the map table, and this will detail a few stats about your ship, including when it last sunk, as well as other captain ships you have seen on the seas. shelf seems a little bare right now, but a pirate always has a few trinket stowed away. Just the thing to liven up your quarters. If you approach the shelf, you will be prompted to put down your first trinket.
There are countless treasures out there just waiting to be discovered. I look forward to seeing how your collection grows. You will then be prompted to go and see the shipwright and see the new features on offer. If you click on where it says ship decorations, you can change your rug and your curtains in your captain's quarters. Galleons also have a few extra options like the captain's chair and an extra set of curtains and chandeliers. If you go to ship customization, you will see you can now save certain items to your ship for a small fee and each time you load up that captain's ship, the cosmetics will stay the same. You won't have to put them on each time. Once your ship is as it should be, a chest like this can keep everything in its rightful place. Remember that, and you'll save valuable time when you next set sail. Better yet, the Shipwright will now offer you a range of exclusive services to keep you shipshape and provide voyages that only true captains are fit to undertake. Why not see for yourself? Anything captains you to will tell. now see a second option in the Shipwright, which they can use to purchase voyages directly from the Shipwright, as well as purchase a few supplies. It seems like you can only purchase these things once. However, I will be testing later on, buying from one outpost and going to another to see if I can buy more, and I will update in the comments, so keep an eye on them. The amounts you will get from each item are the following. 30 planks, 30 cannonballs, 10 blunder bombs, 10 fire bombs, 30 pieces of fruit, four pineapples, Six mangoes, eight pomegranates, and twelve coconuts, and fifteen pieces of meat, and ten of each bait. For the cannonballs and the fruit, these will be found in the bottom barrel. As you can see, there's fifty there instead of the normal twenty. All that's left to do is to choose your next adventure. And lastly, I will be showing you the contents of the new Season 7 Plunder Pass.
I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to check out my second video which I'll be uploading soon, which will be showing off the new weapon set and ship set, the Wrecker Wrangler. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.